So I think that the issue right now is that governments and the, the political party that's in power, <laughs> you know, whether any nation, the issue is that they have to change their policies and they have to change, you know, who they're um, going to please to stay in power. And that's also, that's a, um, that's a conflict of interest, right, in terms of what is the very best thing for that nation? What is the very best thing for society, the economy and the planet? And I think those things need to start to solve itself really quickly, is that we can't have political leaders that will flip-flop based on, okay, I'm going to get more votes there, based on my policy, right? And we, but we have to put, we're in public service, so it's like you have to put the citizens and the well-being of those citizens ahead of anything else, even if it means that you have to lose that, that seat, you know? And I think that's, we haven't seen that leadership anywhere in the world. But any government that's willing to stand up and say, you know what, I'm, I'm willing to put my own, um, your interests and the interests of society, the economy and the planet ahead of my own, but this is what needs to happen and we're gonna to have to get real and it's gonna, we're gonna to to roll our sleeves up, we're gonna to have to do this together. I think anyone, back to that you know, vulnerability and, and the transparency thing, to say, look, here is the issues in our nation and this is how we have to solve it. And it's gonna take work from all of us. We will get a lot more communities working together to solve those problems holistically if we have leadership like that.